This is my attempt to do some kind of video diary of uh, the Matswani project here in Botswana. And I'm just trying to get a workflow together. Obviously, it's very busy, very stressful running an NGO day to day. There's uh, always things you've got to be doing, running up and down. So I haven't had time yet, despite having some quite nice equipment. You'll see the lavalier mic here and the, the Rode Wireless Go system that I bought um, in Germany to bring along with me. And I just haven't had time to get it all, you know, do all the audio settings and do all the sound checks and everything. But yeah, let me try and see how long it takes to get one of these videos produced because I think a lot of people keep asking me like, you know, what's going on in Botswana? You've been quiet for a very, very long time. Right, so here's the site. Uh, this is in Google Earth Pro. And you can see here, we got north, your, your, your compass rose is up here. So the north is to, to the right of frame. But the reason why we tend to prefer to put this orientation is just because um, this way is downhill and we want to see the direction that, that the water is going to go in. Um, and this is also, by the way, the way that uh, Jeff Lawton and his team uh, gave us their, their original orientation. So we've just kind of stuck with it uh, out of habit. So, okay, and if we zoom out a little bit, you can see a little bit more context. Let me put the orientation back to what we are used to with north at the top of the map. So the road that you use to get to the farm is actually a seasonal stream. The water runs down this way, and this is actually our access. Our gate is here. You drive up this road here, you take a left, here's the gate, and then you drive up onto the current manager's residence here. So if I zoom out, you'll start to get a little bit more context. You'll see that this landscape here is highly disturbed by human activity. There's been many, many attempts at plowing on and off over the years. However, this kind of climate is not really conducive to uh, sort of traditional agricultural methods as we'll talk about in later videos. Then here is the village of Medea. This is the community that we're focused on. It's a small village for Botswana relative to other villages. It's a mining village. It's a mining community. Here you have the Masama coal mine, which is actually bigger than the village itself. And then if we just zoom out a little bit more, you'll start to see the broader context of where we find ourselves. Okay, so here is the main city in Botswana, Habalone. All right, let's zoom out a little bit more. And that is the nation state of Botswana. So the west we have Namibia, where you have a lot more aridity. You can see that it's a lot drier. Um, um, the stream that actually goes through that you saw actually will kink and then bend around. It will go through South Africa, I think through Zimbabwe and eventually to Mozambique there. So in the video you're about to see, we're going to be doing just a quick tour of the farm to catch up on some of the, the planting that's been going on. So the, the rainy season in Botswana begins roughly in early November or late October and extends through to as far as April. However, the, the main months where rain is active is December, January and February. So the farmers tend to favor planting uh, after the first rain or the large rain event in December. Um, we did actually do some experimentation on planting in some of these swales up here um, and in here uh, early on in November because we did actually get some early rains in, in late, late October and early November. However, then we had a long dry spell of about three or four weeks. Um, and in fact, we've only just recently, uh, today being the 17th of December, we've only recently had a large rain event. So we've decided to start planting. And so we were just taking a tour with Anderson, who is one of our founding directors and the, the permanent staff at Matswani Farm who, who are on site most of the time. And I'm also gonna show you the graphic that you're gonna see in this video. So I made this, this map uh, for the farm assistants and anyone who's, who's helping us just so that we can identify the swales that we're talking about. So these are the swales, they're trenches 2.8 meters wide by about 70 centimeters deep or so. Um, they are built on contour. This is downhill, as I said before. So when the water comes down, these are designed to catch that water. You'll see that in the upcoming video. So far, the swales that have been planted are swales one, 
through seven. Swales eight and nine south on, on the south side have not been planted because we still need to do more work on this area down here. Um, this area down here was getting the most runoff off the property. We want to try to keep the water on property as much as possible. It had uh, the hardest terrain for the plant hire equipment to navigate across. So we still need to do more manual finessing, as it were, on, on some of that um, that we hope to do in January. There was also this image as well, where you can a little bit more clearly see um, where the elevation is. So the red areas are higher, the green areas are lower, and you can see which direction the water should want to go. Water moves as fast as it can, right angled contour, always seeks the lowest possible ground. Um, but because of the shape of the terrain that you'll also see in the upcoming video, you'll notice the sand is very soft. Um, and what that means in practice is that the, it can form gullies. It basically, the water starts to shape the land. And you can actually see from some of the contour lines here, the way that it's building this, this gully here is just coming all, it's just flowing all the way down. And that could have been because of uh, for human activity. It could be that people were walking down that gully um, and treading it in, but also more likely it's the open grazing community. So it's the cattle or the goats were seeking out water so water, like I said, it does actually come down into this, this sort of seasonal stream or this donga. Um, and some of the local farmers have actually built little dams down here. They have actually dug those out. So the goats, the cattle, the horses will walk right angled contour. They will create these, these, these desire lines actually is the technical term. They will create these desire lines over time. They will form as the cattle come down more and more, and then the, wa the water will follow them. The, they are following the water, and then the water follows them. So, hope you enjoy the video, and thanks very much for watching.